just a compassionate human. He cared about everyone. He cared about his staff. He cared about the people who came before him. People in Cuyahoga County Courts remembering tonight Judge Michael Russo. He died after a long health battle. He presided over a lot of notable cases, too, we need to say, including the case against Ariel Castro. Matt Rascone is here with more on how he's being remembered tonight. Matt? Yeah, Christy, to Cuyahoga County, he was a public servant who sat on the bench for more than 20 years. To the court, he was a mentor, colleague, and a friend. He loved his job, he worked hard, and he cared about the people he worked with. For decades, the now empty courtroom was Judge Michael Russo's second home. And so that's who Michael was. He was a public servant. First as a prosecutor and private attorney, then as a Cuyahoga County court judge. So I would tell the viewers or, or tell anyone who didn't know Michael that he had a calling. Judge John Russo says that calling kept his cousin on the bench for 20 years. Really just truly uh, someone that I looked up to and as uh, Judge Sheehan said, someone who was a teacher to us as judges, but also compassionate about what he did as a public servant. Despite their best efforts. Russo presided over thousands of cases over the years. He will only be assessing your ability to understand these proceedings. Most notably, the case against Ariel Castro in 2013. I have to advise you about that, even though you're not getting out of prison. The way Mike Russo handled that media, handled that case, with dignity and respect for the victims. Presiding Judge Brendan Sheehan called Russo a bedrock of the court and its 34 judges. He cared about the victims of crimes, uh, and he, he loved his family. It's like losing a family member here. A dedicated public servant, even in the last year, as he quietly battled the illness that took his life. He was never far from the courtroom, uh, even though he was at home or in the hospital or recovering. Russo had just turned 68 last week. He was a family man, leaves behind a wife, children, and grandkids. A visiting judge will sit in his courtroom until the governor appoints a new judge. Christy. Thinking about uh, his family and all of the people that worked for him that are going to miss him so much. Matt Rascone, thank you.